Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're back in the farmhouse kitchen area, and I'm making over some things to add some, to some of those vignettes, and I'm going to start with a couple of rolling pins. So, uh, one of these I want to paint uh, in the color Barn Red, that's a Dixie Belle color, and the other one... I'm going to paint in the color sea glass. So one of the, the vignettes that I'm working on today, I'm going to be decorating with these two colors, both the barn red and, and the sea glass. And I think those are really pretty retro combination. And so I wanted, definitely wanted a vignette with that. So I'm not, not taping this off. I'm just very carefully painting around that. And uh, again, I'm not going to uh, stain the rest of it because uh, I don't want uh, it to be unusable. Right now, this is a usable rolling pin. Uh, so I want to keep it where you can both decorate with it and uh, use it. And I'm, I'm going to do that with both of these rolling pins. But I'm also going to paint a little ice cream scoop handle, and I'm going to paint it in this barn red also. So I'll go ahead and do that after I paint this, and that will give this, uh, this little piece a lot better look, and it will fit better into uh, a farmhouse-style kitchen. That just stained wood, it just it doesn't really go well with anything I, and I'm just not crazy about the yellowish stain anyway but giving this a couple of coats of barn red and letting it dry well and then finishing this one off with a uh, clear wax will uh, help it completely so I'm going to finish both of these off with a clear wax before I paint uh, the other one in the sea glass now, I love the sea glass color, and again, I love it with the red, uh, but I do love the sea glass, but even more than I like this color, I like the look of it with uh, brown glaze. So, instead of finishing this one off with the, brown, with the clear wax, once it dries well, then I'm going to finish it off with that Van Dyke brown glaze and it just really changes this color up just subtly gives it more of an antique look and it, it just it's a really pretty color I think with with the uh, brown glaze now I always buy um, rolling pins old or new when they're in the thrift store if they're under um, five bucks and usually I can find them for $3.99 or $4.99 so that's a really good price range and then I can paint them and get uh, 10 to 12 dollars depending on the size of them and it's a very simple makeover so again this gets two coats of the color sea glass and I let it dry well and finish it off with that Van Dyke brown glaze and now I'm going to add several of these little wood signs that uh, I did in the last video. Uh, but I'm going to do all these in just black and white because uh, I have another little vignette that I'll be working on in this video that is going to be, uh, that is going to have these little signs in it. And um, I'm just going to package these up and sell them for like $3 each. And... I'm going to, on on this farm animal mold from, or not mold, farm animal uh, transfer from Dixie Bell, uh, there's some bigger images, but there's also some small ones, and I'm just picking out the small ones that'll fit on these uh, little boards, and I'm going to transfer them on this, and I think I just found one or two from this that was small enough for these particular boards but this is my first time ever using this transfer and um, I really like 
the look, and I think I'm going to be able to use this a lot in this little uh, farmhouse kitchen area before I get finished. So I've settled on the one here on the bottom that says chicken farm, and that's going to go on my first, first little board. So I've painted these little boards with one coat of the color cotton, and um, I didn't even worry about full coverage because I like kind of the rustic look of uh, being able to see a little bit of that wood through it. And I didn't paint the sides or the back. Um, I'm just painting the front only and, uh, and then putting these transfers on them. And that's simple, a simple, simple uh, way to add some smalls to your, to your booth uh, or even at home in a uh, tiered tray or just a little, um, a little vignette that needs just a little something. And uh, these are so, so simple to do. And for me, they sell really well. I usually get the little cellophane bags that you can get like 20 to a pack at Walmart and they come in two different sizes. And I just use whatever size the particular board that I'm working with fit, will fit into. And, uh, and then I just tie something around the top and uh, these sell really well. And especially around the holidays, uh, people like to have some little small gifts that they can add to their other gifts or just some small gifts that they can give as teacher gifts or co-workers. Um, so again, these have sold really well for me in the past and I've sold them for, uh, well, actually since we opened the store. Now, another option for these, of course, is a stencil. And this is a larger stencil, but I'm able to just take just those words off of it and um, stencil them on the board. And I just use my stays on ink and a makeup brush because it just gives me a much neater finish than if I were to try to do this with paint. So just because you don't have stencils small enough for your boards don't mean that you can't make the other ones work. You can just pick certain little things from it that will fit and use those. And I just pick different stencils here and uh, stencil different things. But again, it's all going to be in the black and white. And the black and white sells really well for me. Now, I used to take these little boards and make very small paintings on them. But um, I've uh, learned to work a little bit smarter as time has gone by. And those little paintings, although some are pretty quick, uh, they still take much longer than uh, just stenciling something like this. And to be honest, these sell just as well as if I were to do a little hand painting on it. So uh, I just very rarely do any hand painting. Now come fall, I will do some little pumpkins because those are very, very quick for me. And they do sell well enough that uh, it's worth doing them. But um, as far as my regular little paintings, I, I very rarely do those anymore. Now this one wouldn't work the way Farm Fresh is here, but I'm just going to do Farm on the top and center it and then put the fresh down underneath it. So there's lots of ways that you can maneuver these stencils and make them work for you when it seems like maybe they're not. Now, most of these stencils, I won't be able to tell you where they came from because uh, my friend Paula brought lots of these. And um, my guess is that she ordered them from Amazon, but I couldn't tell you for sure. Um, but there were several, several that she bought or that she brought me, rather. Now, anytime you're putting a small uh, design on it, if you're not going to put anything else, I'm going to be adding this little horse uh, underneath this one. But if you're just going to put the Farm Fresh on there, it's still a good idea to do it uh, higher up on your board. Uh, you, you might want to go a little bit lower if you're not putting anything else on it. But you want to be able to, if you have that, uh, setting as like a shelf sitter 
then you need to be able to read what is on it. And if you get it too low on your board, then you won't be able to read it from uh, looking up at your shelf. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now you could decoupage on these. I do that a lot also. Uh, but these, I want these all to have the same look because I'm gonna put them in a little container together and I just kind of want them all to be this black and white, uh, this really crisp black and white. So um, uh, if I do, uh, or when I do other boards, I will uh, pack, I will put them in, in a container that uh, where all of those are kind of similar too. And now I'm going to show you how I package these. Uh, so, uh, I just, again, I keep plenty of these little cellophane bags. I know you guys have seen them. They're usually in the wedding aisle, uh, and I just find the one that will fit in it. Again, there's two different sizes, and um, they come with little uh, wire ties, and so I'm just almost like a bread tie, and then I I close it that way first, and then I tie something, uh, some kind of coordinating fabric. I usually just tie, uh, tear a little strip of something and use that to tie around the top. So then I just tie it around the top, and then uh, I put a little hang tag on it. And I keep these uh, hang tags very, very simple because these are very simple signs, so you don't want to put an elaborate hang tag on such a simple item. So uh, I just use the brown craft paper uh, hang tags and just stamp a little something or stencil a little design, uh, or rather transfer, stamp, transfer, or stencil. Some little simple uh, design on that craft paper tag and with the holidays uh, coming up fairly soon I know that this is just um, just the beginning of summer actually I don't even know if we're in summer yet uh, but it won't be long and it definitely won't be long until you'll have to start stocking up for Christmas and if you have a booth or a store and you're come, trying to come up with some simple little gift ideas, this one is an absolute winner, I think. And if you can't even come up with these boards, uh, you can get the little stretched canvases uh, from the Dollar Tree and uh, do this on them. So I actually... Um, I have a group of little girls that are going to be coming in the store um, next week sometime, I think. And um, so uh, I think it's a friend of mine, and I think it's some little girls from her church, but she's taking them uh, horseback riding, and uh, she's going to stop at the store and let them pick out uh, something from our little uh, jewelry department our little new jewelry area and so she's gonna let them pick out something there she's gonna let them uh, pick out a little or not pick out a little board I'm making her some of these little boards but I'm making them with a little horse on them so um, she'll be able to let them each have one of those and each pick out a piece of jewelry and then uh, my friend Jennifer made some gift bags and I started selling those in the store. And so then they can pick out a little gift bag for all of these. And she said we would just do that. So I had to uh, come up with a design for those little boards and went to the graphics ferry and found some free uh, horse art. So that's what we'll be using uh, on that. And although she loved Jennifer's bags, uh, she wanted horses on them. So I also found some art uh, from the graphics fairy that I could make some bags similar to um, Jennifer's. Now, as you can see here, I have this wired ribbon and I've had it for years. I don't care for wired ribbon anymore. So what I did was uh, I just ripped 
the, I cut a little slit right up next to that wire and then just tore that off and that gave me a frayed edge and made a good little, um, a good little strip to tie on the top. And then I just added my little hang tags. And again, those were just very simple hang tags. And I'm using these little Dollar Tree uh, transfers uh, to put on these little simple hang tags. I didn't want to do much to take away from, from these. So I just felt like one little transfer on this would be plenty. And then I thrifted this clock and um i like everything about it except for the gold i just feel like the gold doesn't really go uh, with farmhouse so uh, i'm giving this two coats of the color cotton and then uh, instead of uh, distressing this i'm just going to use a marker and do some fake distress on it and to do that i just take a, a permanent marker and i just kind of uh, run it along some of the high spots and um, and then that just looks like um, you have some distress lines and then I'm going to finish this off with a clear coat and I just used a clear matte finish on this one just a rust-oleum clear matte finish now I don't tape my my things like this i don't tape them off because it's hard to tape around a circle and for me it's just much easier to take a razor blade and scrape uh scrape it off the glass especially if you don't let it dry too long uh, as long as it hasn't dried overnight it's very easy to remove and if you let it dry too long uh, then just take a damp cloth and it will wipe right off also as you can see, distressing this is very simple. Just kind of take a light hand. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. And just every now and then, just take a little bit, uh, just draw a little line and, um, and it works really well. Again, being very light handed is key. Again, once I clean this glass up, then I finished it off with a clear matte finish. And I really like the way this one turned out. It made such a big difference. And now I'm gonna make some signs for these vignettes and, um, and I want to do some farmhouse style signs. So I'm gonna use the farm transfer from Dixie Bell. And this is my first time using this and I was very pleasantly surprised with it. I wasn't sure if I would care much for it, but some of these are just so pretty. And this one is a little too large for this board, but that's okay because I'm just gonna let some of it hang off the side and just cut that off. So I just transferred this on, and if you've never used transfers, they come with a little tool that you can just uh, you can just rub that transfer right on and you just put a lot of pressure on it and just keep rubbing it until you get the whole thing uh, removed and it will be on your board at that time and if you want you can lightly sand over it and make it look more um, like it's always been there I, I always sand around the edges really well because these boards just look much better if you sand it around the edges. Now I used to paint little barns on boards, uh, but since I discovered these transfers, I, I don't do that anymore because it's so time consuming and I didn't really ask a lot for my paintings and it just really isn't, um, it just isn't a good um, value to do that. So now I'm just taking the words from one stencil and putting on the top of this because I felt like it needed something there. And I'm just stenciling with stays on ink and a makeup brush because that has a much neater finish when you can do that. And a lot of times, especially with the words, it just works really well to do it that way. But I think that simple little addition there really stepped this one up and uh, I think it will sell well now. I don't think I mentioned that I used just all kinds of scraps of wood for these, just whatever I can find. And I think that one just happened to be um, a piece of uh, plywood.
and uh, some of the others are fencing boards and just again just whatever I can find that's the right size and I like to do them in different sizes because then they can go in different types of vignettes. Now this is what I do to tag these a lot of times. Uh, I'm making a very simple tag for this one. I just took that small lettering on the bottom and now that kind of looks like, uh, kind of makes me think of a crate, I guess. And that's gonna be the simple hang tag. Then I wrap some twine, just some thin twine that I get at the Dollar Tree around the center of it or toward the top and, uh, and just tie a knot in that and then tie my hang tag on the front and that way uh, you can price it on the back of your hang tag and then the hang tag just kind of does a little more to dress it up and make it more giftable. I'm definitely going to be ordering some more of this uh, transfer because I'm finding several uses for it and making some signs that I know will sell in my store. And now this is another transfer from that same set and I'm just going to make a simple black and white one with this one. And again, I think maybe this one is, no, this one isn't plywood. I think this one is fencing board. But I just uh, take all these boards and put a coat of white paint on them and then they're ready for uh, transfers and most of these transfers will show up better on the white. And I tag this one the same way. I just wrap that twine around it and put a tag on it. Now, if you're like me here and you pull it up and some of that is left off of it, just very carefully place it back where it was and finish rubbing that off. And uh, it, it will look like it hasn't uh, been broken. But I just made several of these and um, I think most of the ones that I made uh, were from that same transfer set. I do have some larger ones in that set that I didn't, uh, didn't have signs large enough to do those with, but I'll probably doing those on, be doing those on signs as well. Because this is my first time using this transfer, uh, I wasn't really expecting much from it and uh, I've had this one for a while and just really hadn't uh, decided on anything to do it with but um, I was very very pleasantly surprised with the results of this one uh, I just love the way the colors work and um, I love the way they show up on the signs and um, I will definitely be ordering some more of these and making some more so again, I just uh, picked whatever wood I could find uh, that these would fit on. And um, I used fencing board, plywood, um, and you can even use some uh, just canvases that you get at the Dollar Tree. Uh, there's just a number of things that you can use these on and they'll make good little shelf sitter signs. And you don't have to go with a white background like I did, but I just really like the look of the white background. They showed up really well, and even those red barns uh, just look so good against the white. So this vignette is going to finish one small wall that I started with in that farmhouse kitchen area. And then in my next video, I'll start the next wall. Uh, but I've just, I've still got a long ways to go in that particular booth area and um, lots of uh, things that I will be adding. And I think I'm doing this just in time for the holidays because um, I really want to get stocked up really well, especially since I'll be doing my open house. And if you don't have the little cellophane bags that I'll be using for these signs, you really should look for them at Walmart because not only for these little signs, uh, but you can, a number of things that you would do that are just little small gifts that you could, would sell uh, just seem so much better once you put them in that cellophane bag and tie something decorative around the top it makes such a difference and 
things that they may look at and not really see as a gift idea, uh, once you do that, uh, then it will help them see it that way. And for me, it just makes a really big difference in uh, how an item sells. Again, I know that these are intended to be on larger uh, wood and may be added together. I'm thinking this side goes with the other side of the barn, uh, but I just preferred it this way, and I think that uh, I think that uh, it, for one thing, it made the transfer transfers go further, uh, but also I just like the look. And when you do these signs. Uh, you don't want to do, to do them too large because then it uh, limits where they can be used. So this size, I think, is going to be a really good size. And I think this one on its own is a really pretty sign, but just adding a little bit of, uh, of script from, or a little bit of words, I guess, from a stencil was just the perfect perfect addition to it. And although I don't use this stencil much at all, I do use uh, the words with it on a lot of different items, and I think they're just uh, the perfect addition to this. And then I just uh, take some sandpaper and go around the edges, and uh, sometimes I even take some antiquing ink around the edges. And I think I did on this one. And then I tied some jute twine around it. I just wrapped it around a couple times and tied a knot in it and added a hang tag. And um, that just made this very giftable. And I, I don't put this one in a bag because I don't have uh, bags large enough to fit this one. But since I don't fit it, uh, since I don't put it in a bag, just tying this jute around it and adding a hang tag, uh, makes it more giftable. And I didn't have a farmhouse, much of a farmhouse stamp to go on a tag. So in that case, I just inked up the head of one of these of the rooster and made sure to wipe off anything that got around it and then just stamp that on some uh, brown cardstock and um, kept this tag really simple. Again, just this farm uh, farm style sign, you don't want to get too busy with your tag. I think that takes away from it, so that's why I wanted to keep this very simple. And this was another uh, stamp or transfer that was in, in that set, this truck. So um, I decided to go side, uh, or, uh, landscape style on this one and then I cut it out and I was able to use most of the transfer and this little truck I just really like it and um, and I'm gonna so I'll transfer that on the bottom and then I have another uh, stamp that I'm going to use on the top just the words from that will fit perfectly above this and um, again, I like the look of these on their own, but I just feel like they need a little something and just adding a transfer and a stencil together is a good way to make it very custom and something that uh, you're not gonna see exactly anywhere else. You may see a sign with this transfer on it because it is a Dixie Bell transfer but not many people will think to put the the uh, stenciling with it and even if they do it won't necessarily be the same one so that's just a way to make it completely different from anything that you'll see and then i'm not sure if i mentioned but uh, i finished these off with a clear uh, a clear coat and i just use a clear matte finish over the top of them and now again, on this one, I'm going to wrap uh, some jute around it and attach a tag to it. And I felt like this one needed, the jute needed to be the other way, so I just wrapped it up and down rather than side, or from side to side. 
And these signs, I feel like, will, will not only work for um, just any season, but also uh, I think they'll look really good uh, to add into your fall decor and even into Christmas. And then that's all that I did to this one. And again, I made several of these and I will, uh, I will make more until I've used up that entire transfer set. And it won't be in this video, but, um, but I'm going to make several more for this particular uh, area in the store. And now I'm just going to show you through uh, the area that I worked on in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.